Well, because that lounge was full, it would have been free and ended up costing me $22.50. <laughs> so Amsterdam's airport is pretty expensive. Well, that was fun, guys. I was the one and only person on my flight coming from Europe, and I'm an American that got, for whatever reason, flagged, and they pulled me aside at customs and thoroughly searched all my crap. So I have no idea what the hell is going on, because I travel a lot, and I don't get, like, flagged. I never have to, like, step aside, get extra searched. But not only did I get the customs flag, and they go through all my crap, back there I get randomly selected and I have no idea why they couldn't tell me why they're just like it just happens randomly good morning everybody it is currently about 3 5 a.m. and I'm here rolling my wheelie bag down the streets of Rome annoying the f out of everybody not everybody on the street everybody up in their windows and crap because there ain't no one on the street at 3 in the effing morning do not book 6 a.m. flight out of any country when you travel. I really don't know what I was thinking. So I've arrived at the airport with my crazy ass hair. Uh, hopefully I'm at the right terminal and I don't gotta walk too far. I gave him the 50 plus all the change I had, which was another few bucks. Uh, but truthfully, the 50 is not a ripoff because he had the, uh, the meter running and with no traffic, it was not that far off of 50 euro. So the big board says terminal one and I'm in terminal three. So I might be walking, but I'm gonna figure it out. Oh man, I am not ready for this right now. They made me check my bag because it was overweight for a carry-on, which sucks because I purposefully brought that bag because I didn't want to check it. They uh, didn't make my last one all the way through last time. Oh well, so I had to pull my drone out. So at least I got that with me. I don't gotta worry about it. I'm just hoping none of the ceramic crap I bought breaks. Although I really don't need it because I want to sleep on the flight. I figure I have a short flight and then I have the long flight. The long flight's the one I really want to sleep on. So I'm grabbing myself my final coffee from one of these machines and my dumb tired self picked the decaffeinated one which I just don't understand the point of decaffeinated coffee. But my card was already in so I was like crap is it going to give me a decaffeinated one? And when it told me to pull it out Instead of just pulling it out so it would process it, I like pulled it in and out really quick a couple times and it made it not process it. So there's your pro tip if you make the wrong selection. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle. In all of my flying, I think I just had something happen that has never happened. We arrived a half hour early. That is super rare. I'm heading to a lounge, but I feel like I'm probably not going to be allowed in because they seem stricter here. They more strict here, and I uh, technically four hours early, but it don't hurt to check. My mask is coming apart up here. Uh, I can't say I'm horribly surprised because of how busy this airport is, but the lounge is full, and they aren't letting no one else in unless you are in a business class. So there goes my idea for free food. Oh well, I'm gonna go grab some lunch and coffee somewhere. Well, because that lounge was full, it would have been free and ended up costing me $22.50. <laughs> so Amsterdam's airport is pretty expensive. But oh well, it needs to eat. So they've had extra obvious check-in uh, things for COVID now. And they're easy, it's just like fill out pieces of paper and stuff like that. But uh, I'm such an idiot, I didn't read. I just grabbed a piece of paper and I, and I filled it all out. And I was like, wait a minute, up here at the top it says, non-US citizen. Is this only for non-US citizens? I went up and no, I grabbed the wrong paper. So I had to fill out the proper one. The guy was like, maybe you just don't want to be a US citizen anymore. I was like, no, 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 I actually don't. <laughs> well, that was fun, guys. I was the one... <laughs> well, that was fun, guys. I was the one and only person on my flight coming from Europe, and I'm an American. The guy for whatever reason, flagged, and they pulled me aside at customs and thoroughly searched all my crap. Uh, so, yeah, that was a that was a fun experience. This is not the first time I've been pulled aside on uh, by customs. Uh, last time it was uh, like my my name got flagged, and then when they pulled me into the next room, they were uh, they were just like, "What's your name?" And I told them my name, and they were like, "Oh, we got the wrong name." But this one, they actually like thoroughly searched all my crap and then let me go <laughs> so don't know what that was all about but 
I was able to uh, not recheck my bag, so that's nice. I have my bag for the last leg, and I gotta re-go through security. So uh, I'll check with you guys later. So I have no idea what the hell is going on because I travel a lot and I don't get like flagged. I never have to like step aside, get extra searched. If anything, it's my mom that that shit happens to. But not only did I get the customs flag and they go through all my crap, back there I get randomly selected and I have no idea why. They couldn't tell me why. They're just like, it just happens randomly. It's like twice on the same trip. It's a little, little stupid. I, the US security system is just so stupid compared to everywhere else in the world. I do not understand it. Anything with an on and off switch needs to be powered off. Hello everyone from my final sign off for my Italy trip videos. Uh, these videos were all actually filmed back in March and it is currently July. I've been home editing these videos together and uh, getting my uh, house ready for rental so that whilst I'm traveling I can uh, have this as a passive income. But I do want to drastically thank all of you who have made it this far and are watching my stuff, especially if you've subscribed. If you haven't, please hit that like button down below it's help it helps me so much comment give me any pointers any tips let me know anywhere in the world that you think i should see in the future and uh hit that subscribe button as far as subscribing i'll let you know what i have planned in the future coming up i have uh, some videos from a couple family trips that we've taken over the past they aren't vlog really they were before i started vlogging but i have some videos coming from a trip to mexico uh, specifically oaxaca for day of the dead and uh, some of the ruins down in Central America. And then uh, I have some clips from Vietnam and from Cambodia from a trip we took a few years back that I'm gonna to put together a video or two from. And uh, after that, my family, my mom and my sister and I are going to Turkey for three weeks. And I can't wait. We are going to be seeing so many ruin sites all around Turkey and a lot that people don't regularly go to. You probably don't see very many videos of. Obviously, we're going to Cappadocia and stuff like that, and Ephesus, but you will be also be seeing videos from Gobekli Tepe and um, Kadohuliak and a few other ones. I'm sure those pronunciations are horrible. But if you're interested in them turkey videos coming up, then, like I said before, subscribe down below and uh, those will be coming in uh, probably about the middle of September end of September I'll have the first videos from Turkey coming up and after that I plan to hit the road in the US traveling with my cat and uh, I'm gonna splice in some videos right here of him out in the woods camping with me and stuff and uh, we are going to be traveling the US and uh, yes with my cat camping across the US. So if you have any places that are pet friendly that you think we should check out while we're traveling, then please let me know down below. And I hope you all like my videos and keep following along. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys more of the world of the US and of my awesome freaking cat Balor. I don't know if you just heard him squeak in the background down there. So if you guys want to follow along on our adventures, then hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys on the road.